the Kansas State Wildcats, four and five in Big 12 play, four and six overall. Bottom fell out for these boys. Injuries, COVID issues, uh, just ran off a losing streak to finish the season. We've got Skylar Thompson back for 2021, but not here in spring practice as he still recovers from a shoulder injury. Uh, Will Howard and four-star freshman Jake Rubley or Rubley? Rubley, maybe? Sure. Going with Rubley. Jake Rubley. Uh, defense needs to reload. We got four transfers coming in on that side of the ball, including a couple of Power 5 transfers. And uh, this isn't great. Uh, if you want to be overwhelming opponents with your wide receiver talent, Kansas State's top two receivers last year were tight end Briley Moore and running back Deuce Vaughn. So, you know, maybe, maybe not sustainable. Uh, so what's, uh, what, what's on the top of mind for Kansas State? I don't know. I think like the way that Kansas State plays offense, we could see a lot of seasons in which their leading receivers are tight ends and running backs. Cause hey, they can probably just win. How like, they're built to play. Yeah. They can win nine games with your leading receivers being running backs and tight ends, especially if your running backs too spawn. Yeah. This is, I mean, it's, it's hard to know, like you said, with everything that they dealt with last year, it's hard to figure out what we could take away and what we should probably just ignore. I, I, I like Chris Kleiman as a coach. So because of that, I always am a little more optimistic. I think about what Kansas state can be and where they could be. And I think if Skylar Thompson comes back and he's healthy, I think that will help them. I think Deuce Vaughn is very fun to watch. I think he's one of the more exciting playmakers in the conference. So I think that helps them defensively. Wasn't very great last year. I think we're going to need to see a better performance there. The kind of, you know, when you think of Kansas state, you kind of always think of defense and special teams. So, I have some confidence that we should see something of a bounce back there, but again, you can't assume it. So I think that's going to be an area I'm watching this spring. And I'd also like with, with Thompson out for the spring and will Howard getting a lot more snaps and rubbly or rubly or whatever his name is or pronounced. I think it's good for them this spring that they're going to get a lot of reps because will Howard came in last year for Skyler and he looked like a QB that needs a lot of reps. So I think that's good news for the Wildcats as far as building depth behind him going forward. So that's really what I'm looking at this spring from them. So if you recall back to the ACC episode, we talked about how crazy Miami split between explosiveness and efficiency was. Kansas State's got him beat. Kansas State was 115th in, in offensive efficiency and sixth in explosiveness, which basically means if they didn't hit like a 30 or 40 yard play on that drive, they weren't scoring. The deuce uh, fought effect. <laughs> basically, yeah. Um, I think Chris Kleiman is a very good coach. This, they sort of have a Northwestern feel to me where it's like, yeah, the numbers say Northwestern should be like five and seven. And yet there's no way in hell I'm betting on Northwestern to miss a bowl game just because I've seen some of this, you know, the, the close game magic that, that, that coach Fitz pulls. I think Kleiman is, is sort of the same way based on how they play. My concerns, well, my existing concerns echo Tom's about the offense. So I, I have some questions there. Defensively, I have some, some new questions and, they lose Drew Wiley and they lose Wyatt Huber. And those are big time losses. Kansas State doesn't send a whole lot of lot of you know defensive linemen to the NFL. And both these guys look like they could be, you know, NFL draft picks in 21. So replacing those dudes to me is a big time deal because the rest of that defense isn't nearly as good, you know, talent wise, if, if it doesn't have those difference makers up front. I think this team's gonna be I think that Northwestern comp is pretty good like you, you can maximize there'll be some times when you get a senior veteran class you can maybe challenge for the upper tier but you're probably not going to be as good as ohio state kind of at kansas state you can be really good but you're not going to be as good as oklahoma or even texas um clearly and i you guys i'm sure skylar thompson was a super senior right one of the most impactful ones mentioned on there clearly when they lost him he's you know had such an impact on the season but I don't, I don't know. I, I just, I think the game against Stanford is going to be really interesting because it opens up the season Stanford, you know, is kind of in this spot where we don't know exactly where to get from them. Like that could either propel the big 12 and the, or the pac 12. It kind of has a lot of weight from that one, but it probably is a radar, uh, a game that'll be off the radar a little bit. And I think like, since we're talking about Northwestern Stanford's another similar school where you got to kind of maximize your talent while they're there. But I think, I'm, I think the, you know, the offense returns all five starters. They've got some good pieces returning offensively. I just, it's probably a middle of the pack big 12 team. 
do you think that they are just like they lost to Arkansas State, then beat, beat Oklahoma? Like, I kind of felt like that was the a great representation of Kansas State football, right? Like, you just you, there, there's no way that you could expect the same thing for, for an entire season. Yeah, no chance. Yeah. 